Melissa. So, I am here to show you my AG Doll craft update. I haven't done one of these in a while, and I really miss doing these because I really do like doing crafts for my dolls. So, this is um, what I've done um, within this month. So, this was all made during this month. So, it's not a lot because I does, it is kind of time consuming when I do my crafts. So, I'm going to get started. So, first off, uh, I'm going to start off with this duct tape bracelet that I made for my dolls. I, I learned how to do this from So Craftastic here on YouTube. Um, your post may, these are supposed to be for, like, for you, but I made it smaller so that I can have it on my doll. So, it's completely made out of neon um, pink duct tape, and I really love the result. Um, the backing could have a little bit more work done, and stuff like that but for this be my first try making these um i did a really nice job and i'm very happy on how it turned out and then the second thing i made this month was this um red and white star bracelet and i made this for molly mcintyre um one of my um historical dolls that i have i made this for her and this is made with stretchy cord it's a thicker kind but it does fit over her hand i measured it to the correct size and it does fit over so there is no difficulties. It's just a thicker cord. But this looks really nice and it does really match her very well since she is like a patriotic girl. So I really love this bracelet. It's one of my favorites. And then the next thing I made this month was this jump rope, which I will be doing a tutorial on because I came up with this whole idea myself and I just figured it would be really nice since the school season is coming back and um because you know i wanted to get like a little workout station for my dolls so i am going to be making a ton more of these for my different um dolls and their personalities because i think it would be really cool to have like a ton of these and just like have them do a workout session it would be so fun so i will be doing a tutorial on how to make this jump rope for your doll it was very easy and it's you might have some of this stuff at home already so i really love this and it didn't take long to make either. Then my last thing was something that took me about three days to make because um, I don't have enough time in my schedule and it needed a lot of drying time. So um, this is what I made. It is a cake and um, this is um, something I want to do a tutorial on. This is inspired by the Our Generation doll um, party planning set, which I do have a review on on my channel. So you guys can check that out. This is just a slice of what I think would look like in the inside of the cake if it came out. But the top is like very similar to what the top of the cake looks like since it doesn't have any slices. This is what I thought would be a great um, alternative. And I only made one even though I have 11 dolls at this current moment. I It's just too many for me. So um, this is completely what I made. I used like silicone. I used paint. I used fabric paint. I used cosmetic sponges and this just took a lot of work and to make it look really perfect and I loved the result and it was a project I really liked doing so this is my favorite piece out of everything I made in this um, update video for you guys. So um, that is all of my new um, food that I made or you know just crafts in general for my dolls. I plan on trying to do a lot more. I just need more materials for everything. But if you guys would like any, you know, craft videos for American Girl Dolls, just let me know. Let me know what kind of tutorials you would like to see. I do have a craft playlist on my channel, so you guys can go check that out um, for 18-inch um, dolls, so you can get some inspiration, at, hopefully. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and let me know what videos you would like to see. See you all next time. Bye!